And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up key off in C++. Um, I know I've already made a video on this, but it wasn't a voice tutorial, so hopefully with me actually talking about it, it will make it easier to set up. Um, so what you want to do is actually come over to GitHub um, and download the key off C++ example. Just click on code and then download a zip. Once you download it as a zip, it will be like this, except you will not have a folder called libs. So just right click, click on new, and then create a new folder called libs, uh, all lowercase. And then open up this libs folder. And you just want to copy all of this. And then just paste it inside of the libs folder. I already have it in there, so I'm not going to do it again. Alright, once you have that all set, you can open up the SLN and then it will be like this, except that this won't be filled out for you. Um, so we'll just fill this out. So you want to go over to the key alt site. You want to make sure you get your owner ID. Your owner ID can be found if you click on this icon in the top right and click on account settings. And then for your application name in the secret, you can just click on any tab and the name will be right here and then the secret will be right here just enter it into its corresponding place and that's all you need to do um, I also came down here and if you see something that says just like key only uh, you can remove it you don't need to if you want to keep it you can um, but if you do remove it from there just make sure that you remove it will be called case 4 um, and just remove it all the way down to the break. So it would be case 4 and then break. And so just remove everything that's in between there. Okay. So now right click on your application. Come down to properties. Click on C slash C++. Click on general. On the additional include directories. Click the down arrow and then click edit. And then click on a new line then we'll come over here to browse and you're going to click on the libs folder click on and we're just going to do all of these so click on the first one click include but do not open it and then just click select folder and then we will create a new one and then so click on libs curl um, include and then select folder a uh, new one libs json include select folder new one libs json single include and then new folder libs open ssl include select folder and then you're going to click on ok and then you're going to click apply and then once it applies you can just go ahead and press ok and then test it out you can press f5 on your keyboard and it will build the application and it will run it for you and if you did everything correctly um, you shouldn't have any errors. So it's taking a little bit of time, but there shouldn't be anything wrong with it. So here's the loader and then it should be connecting and then here you go so now if you just press you know one two three and then enter your credentials um it will work but as you can see it loaded up easily no errors um and that's pretty much all you need to do um now you can always like come down here and add stuff remove stuff if you want to um it doesn't really matter and then if you come down here you can also see like how the download file, um, how it shows you how to log users, how to set up the webhooks, and then how to ban it. 
Um, everything else is basically just showing your expiration date and you know username and all that. But besides for that, it's it's really simple to set up. Um, if you have any questions or want to see anything else, just comment down below or message me in Discord, and I'll try and make a video on it. Um, I try to upload at least once or twice every week. Sometimes it may be longer, but I do what I can. Um, but as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.